hello everybody this is hassan today i will discuss about wp form tracking you see that this is a wp form if you are not confirmed that whether it is wp form or not you can just come to the form and right click and go to the inspect and if you see the class name is wp forms as well as you see that every field contain a class name wp forms that case you can be confirmed that the form is built with wp form to track this form we need some tracking code recently i have written this tracking code and great thing is that this tracking code will work for ajax submission or non-ajax submission both cases it will work so i will share this code link in the video description at first you need to copy the code by clicking this copy code button then we need to go to our google tag manager this tag manager is connected with this website and from here at first we need to create a tag from the tag step just clicking the new button here we can write uh, html or this this forms tracking and the tag configuration we need to choose uh, the custom html and paste the code and finally in the triggering section we can select all pages or you can uh, specify which space uh, for example my case the form is only in this space this case you also add few more uh, triggering options so that this code can run only for this space but in this demonstration i am just keeping all pages and save it now if i preview our settings let's see what we are getting I am directly going to the page where the form is available and this is the form I am putting a dummy information a dummy phone uh, phone number and test subject and test message and send it the form has been submitted and said that check your email to download the book and if we come back to our google analytics preview you see that we are getting a data layer event call uh, wp form submit as well as if we check api call we are uh, getting all the form input values for example email address phone number and other information which we have given and if we come to the data layer we also see same thing here we are getting all the information related to this form submission now if we like to create a google analytics for event with this form to send information in our google analytics account we need to back to our google tag manager right now we have two tags this tag for uh, inserting the tracking code and you see that there is another tag called ZA z tag config hope you are familiar with this tag actually this tag is responsible for connecting google analytics with google tag manager and before tracking this form we also need uh, like to collect this form id as well as other information for our conversion tracking at first we will collect this form id let's go to our google tag manager from the tag manager in the variable section i like to create a variable i already have few more variables i am just removing actually those as required for my old setup i am just removing everything in your cases you don't need to do anything here and right now it is empty and only one for measurement id now we can click new button and create a variable for form id data layer event data layer variable actually data layer variable form id and from the variable configuration you can give any name which is uh, aligned with your work and from here we need to choose data layer variable and the variable data layer variable name should be exactly matched with the name how we are getting here just i can copy the form id and put it here and save it this way we have successfully created our form id data layer 
variable now we need to create a trigger so that we can trigger our event to send information in our google tag manager and you see that we are getting a event name wp form submit and we just need to copy the name data layer event name and we need to create a trigger by clicking here we can create a trigger for example uh, wp form submit trigger and this trigger configuration we need to select the custom event and we need to put the name wp form submit if you have multiple forms in your website and if you like to actually create the different event name for each of the form submission then you can choose the custom event as well as you can filter down with the form id to create a multiple trigger in my case i am just keeping this like this and save it and finally we need to create a tags from the tags step i am just clicking the new button and from here we need to give a name the a4 lead form submit and then tag configuration we need to select our tag of course it is a4 and the measurement id i have already created constant variable in your case you also directly paste the measurement id as well as uh, this is the name which the name which will show in our google analytics report my case i am giving just a lead form submit and we also have a event parameter that is form id as well as we can select our form id from here this is the form id and in the triggering we need to select our trigger our trigger was the form submit for actually this one is our trigger and save it now again uh, it is time to preview the thing i am just going to preview phase again to see how it's happening here now if i submit the form with information subject test test and submit the form the form has been successfully submitted and if we come back here we see the wp form submit as well as if i check the tag fired we see that gfo lead form submit tag has been successfully fired for further inspection we can go to our google analytics dashboard from here in the admin section we can go to our debug view and from the debug view we should see that the lead from submit event is here as well as we are getting the form id accurately from our google analytics so if you see everything is working perfectly then you can submit this uh, setting and publish it this is the uh, process to send information in our google analytics but if we like to uh, conversion tracking for our google ad conversion we can do this easily using this information before doing that we also need few more uh, variable if we like to uh, use the enhanced conversion that means we need to collect our form fill id as well as uh, phone number is perfectly fine you see that this is our email address and this one is our phone number the name is little bit uh, not that much readable but it is perfectly fine just i'm going back to variables here make sure that if you need conversion tracking then you can watch this part of the video from here we need to create a two variable one is data layer variable for example email form email and then from here we need to select our data layer variable and our variable name is 
wp forms but you see that the wp forms this object actually inside a another object called inputs so at first we need to copy the inputs and here then we need to put the name for the email address this is actually the email address i can paste it here so inputs inside the inputs the wp form field one this is field for responsible for the email address so this is the email address and save it and this is the form email and we can duplicate this for our phone number just copy it and we just need to change it as phone and this setting we need to collect the right field name this is the field name for phone number and paste just put it here and save it so we have created uh, the two required variable for our enhanced conversion tracking now we need to go to our google ads dashboard and from here we need to click the goal and inside the goal you see that summary and i have already a uh, conversion for contact form submit and if we uh, like to create a new conversion action we just need to click new button and from here we should select the web as well as the website domain name my website domain name is this part leomajor.com your case of course it will be different than me it will take little bit time to scanning your website and then you should see something like this and we need to click add conversion action manually and from here we need to select the category our case the lead categories uh, from lead from submit is perfectly fine and conversion name we can give lead form submit sorry lead form submit and then the value if you like you can put a manual value because you know that this is the this form is not related to anything well, like pricing or anything in that case we can choose the same value for each conversion and we can give a value for this i'm just uh, keeping it uh, one dollar if you like you can change the value it will help you to actually calculate your return of investment of your ad campaign and then every for this case actually this event is when purchase event but our case we can keep one this is recommended for late sign up and anything and you can keep all other settings like this if you are curious about you can just click and read more and finally make sure for enhanced conversion tracking make sure this uh, check icon is checked and then we need to click done and then finally settings and everything is fine we just need to click done and then we need to click save and continue Then finally you will see something like this setup we just need to select the use google tag manager and this is the conversion id and this is the lead from submit level we just need both of the things so i am just going back to our google tag manager thus to set up everything so from here we need to we need to go to our actually our tags from the text we can create a new tag for google ads the ads lead on on submit anyway and then the tag configuration we need to select the tag this is the google ad and the google ad conversion tracking and this is the conversion id we will find the conversion id from here we can put it here this and we also need the conversion level this is the conversion level we can put it here and this is the conversion value if you like you can keep one 
as well as the transaction id you can put a hard-coded usd or your currency value uh, actually transaction id we don't have any transaction id for currency we can give the currency value usd and finally we need to include user provided data from your website we need to click here for enhance conversion and we are going to create a new variable by clicking new and from here we need to select the form email address and the phone number and in your form if it is available for first name last name city region and country you also can create variable for those field and assign this field here and finally we can save it and we can just leave it from and save it so this is selected and finally our tigger should be exact same tigger for wp form submit tigger and save it and one thing actually required here you may notice in my settings i am again click the uh, lead form submit this one this one actually we need to create a new tag this is called conversion linker just you need to click here and you can save it as like this and actually it will create a new tag called conversion linker which is required for google ad conversion tracking the default setting is perfectly fine now again we need to preview our settings and this side we can click the down button you see that this is inactive so right now we don't send any event here so i'm coming back to form and just fill the information again and just the dummy phone number test and submit it the form has been submitted and if we come back to our gtm preview we see that this case so we see that our two event has fired one for gf4 one for google ad and if we come back here and give a reload you see that now we see the no recent conversion so our red color message has gone so we are confirmed that our google analytics google ad information is sending to our google ad account so this is all for today hope this video will help you to track the wp form for your google analytics as well as your google ad conversion tracking if you like my video you can hit the like button as well as you can subscribe my channel for getting this kind of video more quickly it is all for today have a good day